My friends, I have some terrible news. After all of the nuclear radiation and testing that we've been doing on the balloons, such as the nuclear submarines and, of course, the mortar monkey, not only have the balloons become defensive against radiation, they've become more powerful. Alrighty, everyone, we have an awesome Balloon Tower Defense 6 mini game today, and I am so excited to kind of tell you guys about it as we play through. So, not only is it a brand new map that we get to play on, the map has a special game mode that comes with it. The balloons have now become more defensive against radiation, and they are going to become more radioactive as the game continues on. And so we have to battle that, which is going to make things very interesting and very, very fun. So this is how it works. Each of these uh, vials or bluntonium, whatever you want to call them, have a special power that can be activated. Now, at round five, you can see there's a mutation level. If we pop balloons when they're close to something, as you can see how it's close, this the, the yellow arrow starts slightly moving up. Well, that means that we'll be able to activate it when it gets full. The one on the right gives us money. The one in the middle destroys balloons. And the one here on the left resets the mutation level. As you can see, there is a mutation level up here at the very top. What does that mean? That means every time the mutation level goes up, it becomes harder and harder to pop the balloons. As you can see, it's starting to become a little bit more difficult and they're becoming stronger. So the way we destroy, to get the mutation level down is by popping balloons near this giant vial and then pushing the button. So this is actually a really cool concept that was completely come up. Jane Doe, who always makes amazing and really awesome mods. So this comes to the play. We need to figure out where we want to be popping balloons. You know, like, I think... What we probably want to do is I want to put down a I want to put down a spike factory right here right I probably right here I think and then I want to get this in a spot where we can let's get long life spikes because that's gonna be nice and then do I want smart or I want far yeah I want far I want them to be popped right there and then I want bigger stacks and then also I want to get white hot spikes as well because long life spikes are going to be really nice to have but as you can see this arrow is actually coming up a lot faster now this monkey buccaneer is kind of popping everything with grape shot grape shot such a great ability to have by the way I love grape shot so I kind of want like a nice spread right because I want to be able to get because here's my thoughts, okay? If mutation level reaches level 25 up here, the balloons become invincible and we cannot pop them. So we have to make sure that we pop balloons around here so we can lower the mutation level. We want it to be able to be lowered at around level 20 is what I was told. Uh, that could be wrong. Look at how much stronger the balloons have gotten actually like they've already become much much stronger But we're getting closer to being able to push the button which is really really nice honestly And that's gonna stop all the balloons right there So I'm really glad that I have this spike factory here and I think this is working so we can actually push this button And so oh my gosh, that is really strong that basically like instantly pops everything But very interestingly enough. It doesn't give us money. Oh my gosh this what the heck? Okay, that was really, really strong. So this is going to be able to reset that. I don't really care about resetting it just yet. So we can kind of... Actually, we can just go ahead and do that. And so now it's been reset, which is really, really nice. So maybe I kind of want a... Uh, let's put a Darling Gunner down. Wait, does the Darling Gunner... So the Darling Gunner is going to be really nice because if the Darling Gunner is popping balloons next to it here, we can go ahead and get Focus Firing, Laser Shock... And then I can get advanced targeting faster barrel spin. And then that way we can actually kind of choose where we pop balloons, you know? So if we're popping balloons. Oh, wait. Let's see. I'm trying to see where's a good way to pop balloons. Because you want to pop balloons by the vial. Okay, that's doing an okay job. The money is slowly going up. Oh my gosh, that's not going to... Here, I need to go get hot shots and I'm going to get double shot as well. That's going to help us out. Round 20. I need to level this up uh, quickly. Yeah, look at that. So now we're starting to get the money up because apparently it gives you a lot of money and I would love to be able to get just like a little bit more money for this map. And that's going to make things a little bit easier for us. But of course, we definitely need to get... Let's get laser cannon. Laser cannon is nice because it has a... Oh yeah, look at how much money that makes us. That is a lot of... Oh my gosh, the money goes up so fast actually. Yeah, we're going to leave this right here. 
Because if we can just basically spawn trap balloons. There we go. And how much money does that give us? $5,000. That is pretty good. I'm going to get deadly spikes. There we go. We're already at balloon mutation level 10. Ugh. That's okay. So every once in a while, I probably do want to let a couple of balloons buy. But, like, look at how much money it gives us. We actually can just, like, have it go all the way up. And then, boom, more money. That's really nice, actually. Oh, my gosh, more money. There we go. We're already at $15,000. What the heck? Okay, this is awesome. I actually really... This is such a cool idea for a map. What the heck? People are so creative. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's have... And we're at balloon mutation level 10. So I'm actually going to have this over here. So that way we can reset the mutation. So there we go. All right, mutation, resetting the mutation back down to level zero. And now we can focus on getting more money. There we go. We can get the plasma accelerator. Oh, look, the plasma accelerator actually doesn't work. So I need to sell the plasma accelerator and just go back to laser cannon because the plasma accelerator doesn't reach. What the heck? It goes up so fast. So I really do like that. And the mutation level is only at level three right now. So it's kind of like, I don't think, oh, Moab. Ah! There we go. That's good. Yeah, like, once it's just that big rush of balloons, the, it goes up so quickly. And then it just gives us all that money. And I'm definitely going to be using that to get the perma spikes. All right, that's 32000 I forgot exactly how much it costs. 32400 Okay. We're getting very close. There we go. Perma spikes. Okay, now we have perma spikes. So now we're just, like, good to go. But it is getting a little bit... We're already at mutation level 9, and we don't have the perma spikes maxed out yet. So we're just going to let some balloons get by past the perma spikes because if it gets popped over there, see how it's getting a lot closer? Much better. So now we can kind of wait and be patient and have it fill up because if we get mutation level 25, it's game over and the balloons basically become invincible. So we need to make sure we keep the mutation down pretty, pretty frequently, right? So it's at level 11 right now. I don't really think that matters too much. I'd be nice if I could add a tech bot to the uh, the actual Bluntonium uh, vials or whatever. I uh, Vials aren't the right word. What is it? It's like a giant, a giant vial. What are giant vials in labs called? Like a test tube. Oh my gosh. I'm going to use this ability from our middle thing because look at that. The middle thing just kind of destroys all of the balloons at the start. And on top of that, it's going to help us get more money. But the, but, okay. So interesting enough. Oh my gosh. It does so much damage. It's so powerful. Like what the heck? Are we at $45,000? We do have a lot of money right now. The perma spike's doing a pretty good job. Oh, that's because since we're at mutation level 14, look at how much stronger Moabs are. Holy cow, they're way stronger. We're doing okay, though. We have $45,000. Um, What do I want? What would be a pretty nice thing to have? I want to collect that and just get a little bit more money. I don't want a helicopter. I don't want anything that, like, follows the balloons, you know? That's probably not the best option. We're at mutation level 16 already. Is this eating? Yeah, that's okay. So the mutation is already at level 17 right now. I'm actually just going to you go ahead and refresh that because like look at how much faster the Moab pops now. Holy cow. That's way easier to do that. So I guess I can just put another like another boat right here and we can just get a cannon ship and the cannon ship will help out a lot as well. But I don't want to. Ah, but at the same time, I really don't want to. Actually, I'm going to sell this guy. And the reason I'm going to sell that guy is because I definitely still want to be in control. Maybe we just get some more. I mean, what's wrong with just getting another, just getting a couple of these guys? Because if we make, if we're stronger and then we have more control, I think that's probably better. So now we have, can I get a brewmaster? Oh my gosh. Right here. That brewmaster is not going to be in range of that friend, but that's okay. We can start making more money now. So there we go. We can just start absorbing all the money because I kind of want to be spawn trapping some of these balloons here because I want the money. Look how fast the money goes up. What the heck? That's crazy. And and the higher the round is, the more money we're making. Look at that. $52,000 and more balloons. You get it faster. So it actually works out for us. There we go. Thank you. $61,000. I'm actually trying to save up money because I want to get the perma brew. There we go. I love how much money we can get. That's so fast, actually. 
Mutation level level 9. I'm going to stop popping balloons because the mutation level is starting to get pretty high up there. So I want to be able to reset the mutation level. And let's also use this ability from the middle vial. That's going to be able to take out all the other balloons. And then we can start working on getting a little bit more money as well. So I definitely like that. Yeah, and we have all these alchemists that have just like all of this money. So it's really, really nice. I love this game mode. I think this is such a cool like custom mod and a custom tower. If you all want to see more custom maps with cool features like this, show your love and support. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Turn on notifications. Let us, that lets us know that you want to see more of this type of content here on the channel. Because remember, if it's something that you want to see, well, let us know by commenting down below. We always read through the comments. Not only is it just myself, but all the people the modders in the community read through the editor reads through so even if it, i personally might miss your comment there's still a bunch of other people that might see your comment and there's still been a lot of people that have put down comments and a lot of the inspiration that we get are from you people from all you beautiful individuals that are supporting the channel giving your feedback of what you would like to see in the game i'm gonna take a quick step back i'm gonna move my my laser blasters i'm gonna move them out of the way just so we can start working on getting more money here see there we go we're trying to get the mutation level down because it's still in the green right now so i don't want any of these balloons to kind of sneak up on us you know we are really close to being able to have that reset i mean i guess i could have that Ooh. i mean it's only at round 68 right now there we go we're close you can actually fill up both of them at the same time if you're like if you're fortunate enough. So there we go. No, the destroyer's too powerful. It's popping everything. Yeah, you have to pop it like right. You can't pop it at the top of it. So this destroyer is kind of making it a little bit difficult for us right now. The destroyer is being too good. Oh, it's our alchemist. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's also get that. Okay, perfect. And now both of those are ready to go. So we're only we're already at round 70, which is awesome. We can just look at that. We can just keep getting money. Like it generates money so fast actually. Look at that. It just, and it's like $10,000 every time. Hey, we leveled up. We're level 130 now. Woo! I hope Ninja Kiwi adds more monkey knowledge points because I have like 20 knowledge points that I haven't been able to use. Because I just, like, all my monkey knowledge is maxed out. So it's kind of just like, well, what am I supposed to do? I love that you can just, like, get all the money like this. Look at that. We're at $136,000. We're just kind of spawn camping the balloons here. Yeah, I think if this would be a very difficult challenge without the Dartling Gunners. I feel like the Dartling Gunners make it a little bit easier for us, you know? All right, I'm going to go ahead and reset the mutation level. I just clicked on that button, so the mutation level is down back to zero. So now all the balloons are just way weaker. I think every balloon, t balloon mutation level adds like 10% damage resistance or something like that. It definitely makes them a lot stronger every single time. And so once you're up in like the 20 you know, percent, balloons are starting to get pretty close to invincible. And so you got to be a little bit careful with that. We're already on round 77. For round 80, I'm wait. I have, you see the skull button. I'm waiting because I want to use that against the ZOMG and have it just absolutely annihilate the ZOMG. I think that would be so cool. Imagine if this was an actual, like a real map. That's what I've been saying. I love maps that are interactable with or do like unique things. That's why I really, really like, um... Let me think. Some of the maps that I really like are is the map is the map that has the dam on it where you can like there's the hidden button that floods the whole map. Amazing design. Or like the not the warehouse, but like the engineer map where the Moabs come from a different area. Super cool, right? I love the fact that you can have like these little interactable things on different maps. I wish Ninja Kiwi would do that more often. Like I think that is so very very awesome. Okay, I'm going to sell all of these. We don't need them. We don't need them anymore. We got the permabrew, and so we have one more round after this. So what I want to see is I want to see if this tower can deal with the ZOMG on its own. I want to see. All right, let's get the carrier flagship. It's going to go destroy all these balloons on their own. Getting closer. Oh, my gosh. That is absolutely annihilating. Okay, ready, steady, go. Can it pop the ZOMG on its own? It's trying. The ZOMG is not being damaged right now, though. Oh, it took a little bit of damage. Come on, can it pop? It cannot. It was not able to pop it. All right, well, I know something that can. Ray of Doom! Oh, my gosh. The Ray of Doom doesn't reach. It doesn't reach. No! There we go. <laughs> 
Victory has been ours! Woo! I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications. My webcam's lagging now, so we're gonna end the video. Wow!